I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> With another epic game on my list. And um, even though I was thinking about saving this game later down the track, but I couldn't resist. Uh, I'm going to be playing perhaps what is the one of the greatest PlayStation 1 games of all time. Uh, a game that I didn't actually grow up with, but I, I was well aware of it because there was so much talk about it, especially for its upcoming sequels after this. This is going to be quite an epic Let's Play, as well as I think the gameplay for... I'm really looking forward to this uh, Let's Play. It's going to be extremely awesome. It's one of my favourite games of all time too, because of its legacy and as well as its gameplay. It's actually so much fun. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss. And they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Oh shit. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. And stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. Then we'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. <laughs> that always fucking makes me laugh. That little scene there. High-tech special forces unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Uh, there's one thing I should um, just announce right here. This game has a lot of fucking cutscenes, and most of them go for over 10 minutes, so yeah. There is action involved, but just keep my word to it. Not a lot's going to be happening. But here it is. The ultimate, the classic, and one of the greatest. Tactical espionage action, Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. And oh boy, have I been looking forward for this. Ugh, I'm just already sweating and palming. I've already um, had a bit of practice with this, uh, just to at least get the rundowns. Um, I should also mention that, if, in case if you haven't actually played the original uh, Metal Gear Solid on a PlayStation 1, you'll know that, um, well, no, you wouldn't know, because you haven't played it, <laughs> that the game originally had two discs, because obviously they couldn't fit everything within the one disc. So at a certain point, you will have to change the disc over to play the next uh, game. Um, unlike uh, Crash Bandicoot, there is going to be, I'm going to take breaks on certain sessions because this game is huge and even after listening and watching the cutscenes, it kind of drowns me out of the action. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, I mean either way, I still like this game. So we're going to start a new game here. Um, now I remember having playing this, this, oh, well I mean there was so much going off, radar off, hmm. I'm almost tempted to actually play this without the radar, but we'll just stick to normal for now. Okay. Oh. The best is yet to come. And it's just showing the credits of the uh, voice actors within the game. 
Even though with some characters, you'll actually get to, um... You'll be reintroduced to uh, who these characters are voiced by again. More so with bosses, but we'll get to that later. We're about to start our very first uh, mission right here. Well, I mean, we only have one mission. I should say this is the first part of the mission. Stay alert. If you'll be through here, I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothersome flies. He's actually literally going to be swatting some flies. <laughs> he's a fucking... <laughs> he's such a ruthless killer. I mean, I don't blame him. I fucking hate flies as well. But that is Liquid Snake going up the elevator. See? All in his prime. He almost looks like, um... Wesker? Albert Wesker, I think his name was? From Resident Evil? I can't remember. Anyway, our first codec message. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. Oh, that's right, we've got a... Oh no, oh no, not yet. So let's just uh, handle some of the basics right here. You obviously, you can move around. Um, and come down here first, so we can actually get a uh, little item. We actually have a little bit of time to explain what exactly we can do around here. God damn, the frame rate seems like it was slowing down really much when I was in the water. So, uh, Metal Gear Solid takes uh, from a third person, um, almost bird point of view right here. You press the X button to crawl. Oh God. Now there's the radar on the top right corner of the screen. Um, it's a very stealth um, oriented game. I mean, there is combat involved, but the game highly recommends that you actually put in the stealth, um, the, the stealth aspect into this game, which, you know, I'm going to try my best of doing, unless things get really hairy. Uh, but as you can see, the radar, the, these are the guards right here. Their kind of vision is displayed as the blue. God damn it, I nearly get, got caught right there. So obviously try not to be in their field of sight. Um, that being said, of course, um, because it's a stealth game, you can also hug behind walls and the camera will automatically zoom in. I think if you hold down on that certain direction, as you can see, there's a guard coming up. You can, oh, you can also make certain distractions. Uh, I don't really, oh, shit. Okay, well, let's go back. Uh. So what happened right there was because there was a puddle of water. I accidentally ran on top of it and that actually alerts guards. Yes, uh, they're, they're not... Well, they're still stupid, but there's still some things you've got to be aware of. Um, there's uh, footprints, sound, certain sounds of footprints that you can do that can distract them. Oh, like so. Let's go up here. Anyway, uh, others, well, oh, what's, let, me, let me just find a safe spot, like right up here. Or, okay, maybe not. I've got to find somewhere where I'm not going to get caught. Actually, there is a spot all the way over there, but that fucking guard's right over there, so let's just go over here. The uh, square button, there's um, more of your heavy sort of attack, and your circle one's your sort of like. Well, no, circle is more so for your... Uh, well, it's, yeah, it is a lighter attack, because you can also use weapons in this game. Okay, yes, we had to wait for a bit until the fucking elevator decided to come down. So now we can go up that son of a bitch. Oh, actually, uh, one thing we should also... Oh, God. Uh, we should also utilize is that if I press the select button, we have the codec um, call thing right there. You can act, you can always um, call in codec on certain characters to get more info of what you need to do. Snake, don't forget this is a covert operation. There are lots of bad guys and only one of you. If you're spotted, you'll be surrounded before you know it. If that happens, you're finished. First, go to the elevator in the back, take it up to the ground floor, then look for the DARPA chief. You can actually call these guys to get any information, in case if you're stuck. And if you do accidentally call them again, then you can just skip all this. Um, although, of course, you know, there's not going to be quite a lot of things we're going to skip. Now, because the elevator came down, there is now an extra guard that we have to be careful for. I mean, this level's not, well, this part of the level's not really hard. We just have to get around. Make sure you avoid that puddle and don't get fucking spotted. And up we go. Yeah, quite clearly that guy would have saw us right there. But no, all this noise, we're pretty much all good. They probably think that we're just another guard. 
of course, if they kept their eye on the fucking roster, they would know that there shouldn't be another guard going up this way, but whatever. So this is Solid Snake. He doesn't look like much, honestly. In fact, he looks kind of like a jovial fuck. Well, I don't know. I always imagine him as a little bit old. So now he starts stripping on the elevator, putting a show for the guards. Takes his scuba gear off. And there's the man, the legend. Directed by Hideo Kojima. Yes, thank you very much, the man of legend. <laughs> You've gave us um, a, an impressive homage of games right here. We can't thank you for it. Yeah, funny enough, I'm starting with Metal Gear Solid before I'm starting uh, Metal Gear or uh, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. So we're starting straight up with Solid, but you know, I don't fucking care because this game is just too epic.